Okay, good morning, good afternoon. Well, we were trying to decide that I should not speak <laughs> because of my Portuguese and English. But I, I guess you, because we, you mentioned that we should promote the diversity of our continent, so you will have this Portuguese moment. <laughs> but please be be safe because if I say something wrong, I have my help back there, Christina, and she she will notice and she will tell you what I was supposed to say. <laughs> so we have this grant application. Let me. And the goal was to support, they say, is to support the research based in LMIC uh, to strengthen the health systems and also to improve the healthcare delivery, basically. And they give us some topics that we were discussing about that we should find um, a research that uh, would be focused on delivering evidence based interventions on structural changes that could influence decision makers. Also, they say that it should be something that we should look to the inequality. There is that we should find a way to benefit vulnerable populations. And uh, as for the methodology, they say that we should involve, uh, or they encourage is us to involve the non-academic stakeholders so that it could be something that makes sense to the community and also that it could be done in one country or in multi-country. Uh, provided that we specify the reasons why we are choosing those specific countries. Uh, for outcomes, they think that we should capacity building should be integrated as an important uh, component, and we should spend some time thinking on how to improve it. As for budget, I think that we should mention also. Okay, 400 to 800 thousand pounds, uh, and that's basically the summary of the grant. And I don't know if I forgot something. Okay. And I should invite Tala Tala just to talk more about it. Uh, I was chosen uh, to be the speaker for the group, but uh, I will not answer questions. <laughs> <laughs> there is a specific the person who's somewhere at the back who's is going to take the questions. So we decided to focus on um, children uh, in, Af in, in Africa because we, one, identify them as the um, vulnerable group and uh, we thought that we are likely to influence the, the decision makers because we think that some of the uh, social problems that the, uh, the, especially the African continent is facing could be solved if we were to pay attention to the mental health of children. Um, so our study is on uh, the improvement of access to mental health services by children. Um, the countries that we are going to do the study in, we thought we should have uh, uh, three sites in one district per country, Ethiopia, Mozambique, and, um, and South Africa. Um, uh, why are we doing the study, as I already mentioned, where Africa is for the young population, um, the violence uh, that we see in the, especially in South Africa and other African states is probably related to the trauma that children suffer. Um, uh, suffer. So if we then target um, children, we'll improve that. And even in countries like South Africa, where uh, services, many services are a little bit better, but um, children are still, they still remain uh, neglected. Um, we do believe that uh, there will be, if this study is done, if, this, if we can come up with interventions for children, there will be also uh, returns on social uh, the social investment return, the return of social investment. And um, it, this study will also improve um, not the health system, but also beyond the health system, it will improve the multisectoral intervention. Here we are looking at the 
justice system, police, education. Why uh, those three countries? Why are you choosing those three countries? We think, firstly, we'll just do the study, we'll start in those three countries, but it can, we are hoping that we'll develop a model that can be easily adapted to most uh, countries in Sub-Saharan Sub Sub Africa. And we're choosing those three countries because there's already an existing extension health worker program. Uh, Ethiopia has got uh, about 38,000 um, uh, health extension, extension health workers. Uh, Mozambique already has, um, uh, um, I'll call them community health workers, and already has the psychiatry technicians. That are already, so there are already programs in that are existing in those countries. South Africa does have community health, community care, community health workers, but it may not be as organized as uh, Ethiopia and Mozambique are. And we think that um, there are already similar programs like PRIME that have been implemented in multiple different sites, including some sites in Africa. And these may not have a strength on, on, on uh, they may not have a children's component that is um, strong. The aim of the study is to develop an integrated model for strengthening district mental health services for children in Africa. Um, the second aim is to train extension health workers in children's mental health. And the third aim, is, is, they are not put nicely and we still want to refine them, but we also want to actually, um, part of the study is to cost this intervention. Firstly, to see if it's feasible, they are actually cost effective, they, can they be done, or it's, we're just doing something that is expensive that will never be implemented anyway. And do they result in any cost saving? If we didn't intervene, would we, would we, would we save any money? Do, does, do the, 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 would this intervention result in financial savings for the country on justice, on, on all other problems that they have to deal with and spend money on? The strategy, uh, we have to demonstrate that the, uh, this project is one, uh, can be done, can be replicated and adapted to uh, different countries. And we're going to do one district per country. We're going to focus on childhood trauma. And because we didn't want to make it too broad to implement, but also we don't want to make it too focused. So we identified trauma and we think that if, for instance, we were to train the extension workers who will also have an impact on the schools on trauma, that trauma is also related to other disorders, depression, PTSD, ADHD. There will be um, stakeholder engagement and we thought that um, before even the study starts, we'll have to establish um, some engagement with the community including traditional healers, faith-based uh, healers. We will have to have um, uh, involvement of the other sectors, education, uh, justice, uh, police. So we will have to have uh, engage those stakeholders. Um, the other issue that we will have to look at is to how are we going to recruit uh, these health social workers because some countries may not have them uh, to the same extent as Ethiopia, and how are we going to retain, retain them. Um, then we'll have to also look at developing the training course and curriculum and also the supervision. Uh, roadblocks, we are worried about funding and sustainability. Um, the acceptance of the project by community, it was raised that um, in, if you intervene, intervene in, with children's care, especially in Mozambique, there could be issues with traditional healers who usually are responsible for the care for children after birth. Um, the other uh, roadblock we thought we may struggle to find people with an interest because it looks like a, a, a big project. It will need some people who will be dedicated or are already working in the area. Um, thank you.